Hi, my name is Scott Scambato. I'm the nuclear medicine technologist here at Nathan the Tower Hospital, and I've been doing this for about 15 to 16 years. And typically, when people hear the word nuclear medicine, um, they think of radiation and terms like that, but I can assure you that although we inject radioactive tracers, the amount of exposure to you, the patient, is along the lines of the uh, same as a chest x-ray, which most of us have had. Typically, the most common studies we do that you may be referred uh, here at Nathan the Tower would be a bone scan or a cardiac stress test or maybe a gallbladder exam, which we call a HIDA scan. And I can show you what that's about in just a moment here. So this is your typical nuclear medicine gamma camera. And prior to putting you on the table, we do give you a small injection into the vein of your arm. And then we would proceed to put you on this table. This, as I said, is a gamma camera. In layman's terms, it's like a big Geiger counter. And the patient never really does go fully inside of the scanner. More often than not, the head is left out. You'll be able to see, see the room. Um, but the patient would lie down like such. And scans, typically nuclear medicine scans, take a little bit longer than your normal x-ray or CAT scan. On the average, a half hour, as, mo as long as two hours. Not that you have to be on the table that entire time, but that's just the course that it, that it takes. For certain exams, the camera may remain in one position. Other tests, like a cardiac stress test, the camera would rotate around the body. Uh, but again, um, I try to make the patient very comfortable, and um, more, pa more patients, I'm sorry, most patients, even those who are claustrophobic, uh, can usually tolerate a nuclear medicine test. And once your exam is finished, it is interpreted by one of our radiologists, and those results are sent to your physician. I just want you to know that if you have been referred by your physician for a nuclear medicine study, um, I will take whatever steps I need to to make you comfortable, uh, to answer your questions, and to make it a pleasant experience for you. Thank you.